Welcome everybody. On this video, I will show you how to fix blue screen error of startup repair tool with this error message, startup or automatic repair couldn't repair your PC. Log file C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash log files backslash srt backslash srt trail dot text. This error message is generated when the startup repair tool fails to fix errors that prevent your computer from booting normally, and may associated with others blue screen errors, such as machine check exception BSOD, or another error message. There are many sources that can lead to this problem, hence it's too hard to show you only one solution for all of them. So I will show you how to determine the exact error source in order to select the most applicable solution from the suggested methods on this video. The video contents is divided into three main parts. Part number one will show you how to identify the exact error source either from the last changes you have made or by opening the SRT trail log file. The second part will show you how to identify boot partition. Third part contains 12 methods to fix this issue, according to the identified error in addition to general methods. The first part, how to identify the error source. Before doing anything, memorize the first letter in the log file path in your computer, which is the letter of Windows partition, because you have to use it in place of the D, which is my Windows partition if you have another letter. To open srttrail.txt file, do the followings. From startup repair blue screen, click on advanced options then select troubleshoot option. Open command prompt. Type this command and press enter from keyboard to execute the command. These 0x0 codes indicate that there is no error found in the test performed. Scroll down until you see the root cause found. As you can see, the error cause in my PC says that, no OS file found on disk, with error code equals 0x20, and the startup repair tool suggested a partition table repair as a repair action. On my second operating system, the root cause and associated error code are different as well as the repair action. Also, your computer may have another root cause. If you can remember the last changes that happen in computer before appearance of this problem, you will be able to reach the appropriate solution easily. For example, if the problem is related to the latest Windows update, delete that update to fix your problem. If the problem occurs after installing a driver or app, delete that installation by booting the computer in safe mode or using driver manager view tool. If the problem occurs after deleting a file, replace that file from a bootable USB of Windows installation or from backup files. You will see all the methods to solve this problem in the third part of this video, but you will have to choose the appropriate method yourself according to identified error source. If the computer restarted to this error code while using it, you can use blue screen view tool to open memory dump file to show the affected file that caused the system failure. Download the blue screen view.exe tool using your mobile then copy it into a USB pen drive. The link is available in the video description. Connect the USB drive to your computer. Type notepad and hit enter. Press Ctrl plus O keys from keyboard to open files explorer. Click on this PC icon then open the USB drive. Change file of types option to all. Right click on the blue screen view file and select, run as administrator option. Click on options tab and open advanced options. Replace the X with the letter of your windows partition then click OK. As you can see, the mini dumb is available in my PC with this error code, 0xc00002e3, and it's related to corruption of boot configuration data. Second part, how to identify boot and recovery partitions. Open command prompt. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and hit enter. If you see this asterisk under GPT column, then your disk is GPT. If there is no asterisk, then your disk is MPR. Type cell disk 0 to select disk that contains windows if you have more than one disk. Type list vol and hit enter to show available volumes. As you can see, I have two volumes with size less than 5 megabytes with no assigned letter for both, and boot and recovery partitions may have size of 500 megabytes or less and may or may not have an assigned letter. Also in rare cases, your PC may came with assigned letter for one or both partitions. Now to identify which one is the boot and which one is the recovery partition, you have to assign a letter for one or both of small partitions in order to see their contents. Select the partition that not have assigned letter using this command. Cell vol x. Replace the x with the volume number of partition without letter. Type the following command to assign the letter to selected partition. Assign letter equals v. If you have another partition without assigned letter, select it using cell vol x command, then assign any letter using assign letter equals m command. Type list vol again to see if the letters assigned successfully to the partitions or not. Type exit to close disk part. Execute the following command to show files and folders inside V partition. dir slash a slash b slash sv. As you can see, 
The V is the recovery partition in my laptop, because it contains the winrid.wim file which stand for Windows Recovery Environment. Now, let's confirm that the M partition is the boot. Execute the following command. dir slash a slash b slash sm. As you can see, the M is the boot partition in my laptop because it contain the BCD files. The path to BCD file is not the same in both GPT and MBR systems. In GPT system, the path is Z colon backslash EFI backslash Microsoft backslash boot. In MBR system, the path is Z colon backslash boot. And the Z is the letter of boot partition. Third part, the solutions. Now let's see all methods used to fix this issue. First method, how to rebuild BCD. If the root cause or the associated blue screen indicate that the boot configuration data file is corrupted, rebuild the BCD file using one of the following methods. Rebuild the BCD file using BCD boot tool. Execute this command to rebuild BCD. BCD boot D colon backslash windows. Replace the D with the letter of your windows partition. Restart your computer to see if the error fixed or not. If the previous method failed, rebuild BCD manually as followings. Type Butrek slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. Remove editing protection from BCD file using this command. A trib C colon backslash boot backslash BCD HSR. Replace the C with the letter of your boot partition. Rename the BCD file using this command. Ren C colon backslash boot backslash BCD BCD dot old. Type Butrek slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. Type yes or Y and hit enter to add the Windows installation configuration to boot list. In GPT systems, the steps are the same, but the path into the BCD is different. So to rebuild BCD using this method do the followings. Execute the following command. dir slash a slash b slash sv. If the v is the boot partition, you will see the BCD file in this path. Press shift plus f12 keys to open another CMD window. Type boot rec slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. Remove editing protection from BCD file using this command. A trip v colon backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash bcd hsr. Copy the path of bcd from first cmd window. Delete the old bcd file using this command. Del v colon backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot backslash bcd. Press the upper arrow key from keyboard to explore previously executed commands then execute boot rec slash rebuild bcd again. Type y and hit enter to add the windows installation configuration to boot list. Close the command prompt then click on continue button to restart your computer into Windows operating system. Repairing bad disk sectors. If the error source is related to bad disk sector, use check disk tool to fix that as followings. Type the shown command and press enter. If the previous command failed, type the shown command and press enter. Restart your computer to see if the issue has been fixed or not. Type notepad and press enter. Click on file then select open option. Navigate to computer folder and note the assigned letters. In my laptop, the D is assigned for Windows partition and H for the bootable USB drive of Windows. Checking if there is a corruption in the system. Execute the following two commands to check if the system is healthy, reparable, or non-reparable. Replace the C with the letter of your Windows partition. The result in my case state that, no component store corruption detected, because my system is healthy right now. If you get a result that told you the system is non-reparable, you should remove the installed system and start a new Windows installation. If the result told you that the system is reparable, you have to use restore health command to repair that is on the next step. If you are booting into advanced recovery without Windows installation media, execute this command to restore system health. Restart your computer to see if the issue has been fixed or not. Restoring system health from Windows installation media. Use the same commands we used previously for checking and restoring system health when the Windows installation media is not available. However, when using the restore health, you can add the installation media as the source for the repair files as in the following commands. Replace the D with your Windows partition and the H with the USB or DVD drive. Important note, if you are trying to fix Windows 10 or Windows 8, First run the DISM tool before running SFC tool using installation media as the repair source is on step number 3.4. If you are running Windows 7 or Windows Vista run the SFC directly. Type BCD edit and press enter to identify the boot and Windows partitions. In my PC, the C is the boot partition and the D is the Windows partition. 
Execute this command to check and repair system files. Use Windows partition if the boot partition hasn't assigned a letter. The process will take longer time, so be patient and don't close the CMD window or power off your PC. If there is no any missing or corrupted system file, you will receive this message. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. If there is a corrupted file in your system, the tool will replace that file from the system files backup in the WinSXS folder and you will receive this message. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. But if the WinSXS folder or its files are missing or corrupted, you will receive the following message. Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. In this case, you have to replace corrupted files manually as on the next method. How to replace or remove the corrupted file manually. Open SFC log file to determine the corrupted file using this command. Determine the corrupted file that detected by the tool from the last check according to checking date and time. Also you can open SRT trail log file to determine the corrupted or missed file using this command. In my case, the corrupted file is hal.dll. Search for the corrupted file inside Windows folder using this command. In my case, there is a backup file inside WinSXS folder which is approximately close in size to the corrupted file. Take administrative ownership and full access of the corrupted file using these commands. If the file is missing, the previous two commands are not required. Now, I will replace the corrupted file using these commands. If there are many files available, copy the one with similar or close size to the corrupted file. If you are trying to replace a missing file, add its name and path so we will help you to choose the suitable replacement file. If a backup file not found in your computer, use a Windows installation media like USB drive to replace it as followings. Connect a bootable USB to your computer. See how to create a bootable USB from the video in description. Take administrative ownership and full access of the corrupted file using these commands. Execute these commands to show the letters of all volumes. Disk part. List vol. In my case the H is the letter of the USB drive. Type exit and press enter to close disk part. Create new folder using this command. MDD colon backslash mount. Mount the first index of the Windows installation using this command. Replace the H with the letter of the USB or DVD drive in your computer. Rename the corrupted file using this command. Copy the required file from mounted folder using this command. To change startup behavior or to boot into safe mode, do the followings. Click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options. Select startup settings option, then click on restart. Try the last three options one by one, by pressing the corresponding F key from keyboard. Or you can try only one option if you think the issue is related to that option. For example, if you think the issue is related to anti-malware app, so you can disable early launch anti-malware protection by pressing the F8 key from keyboard. If all three options not help, try to boot into safe mode with networking by pressing the F6 key. Once the safe mode opened, you can try many options to fix your issue according to changes you have made in your system before appearance of your problem. For example, if you think the issue is related to the latest Windows update or software installation, open programs and features panel then uninstall that update or installation. Because some new updates may lead to such issue, especially in older computers when using newer operating system. If you think the issue is related to driver installation, open device manager and remove that installation or disable that driver. Also if you have an internet connection, you can try to update the graphic or another driver if you think that driver is the source of issue. If you think the error source is related to a virus or malware, scan your PC using Windows security or another antivirus app. Deleting recent updates. Click on uninstall updates option. Select uninstall the latest quality update. If the previous option didn't work, try to uninstall the latest feature update. Uninstalling latest driver or disabling corrupted device. Download device manager view tool in your mobile from provided links. Extract the tool into your mobile, then copy it to the USB drive. Connect the USB drive to your computer. Type notepad and press enter. Click on file tab then select open option. Click on this PC icon then open the USB drive. Open the tool folder. Change file of type option to all files. Right click the devmanview.exe and select, run as administrator. Click on options tab and select, advanced options. Check external windows directory option. Select the windows path or type it manually into the text box then click ok. 
Now, select the problematic device and disable it then restart your PC. Important notes, use this tool very carefully, because disabling or uninstalling the wrong device may cause severe system problems. Some users reported that the blue screen appear after disabling a specific device, especially the graphic or display device. If this is the source of your error, enable that device and restart your computer. Sometimes the connected external device may lead to startup failure, especially if that device is corrupted. So try to disconnect any external device, such as mouse or keyboard and restart the computer. The system restore option requires manual activation in Windows 10, while in older versions such as Windows 8 or Windows 7, this option is enabled by default. The success rate of this method is very high if you have this option enabled in your laptop. Click on the system restore option then choose the required windows if you have more than one OS. Select a restore point to a date before the problem occurred. After that, press the next button. If there is no any restore point because the automatic system restore feature has been turned off, due to removal of restore points by viruses or for any reason, then proceed to the next method. Click on Troubleshoot option. Click on Reset this PC option. Select Keep my files option. Select the profile which has administrator access if you have more than one profile. Type the profile password if you have a password, otherwise, click Continue button. Select Local Reinstall option. Select Reset option. Restore system registry. Execute the following command to see the contents of the regback folder. Replace the D with the letter of your Windows partition. If you get 5 files inside the regback folder with a size for each file greater than 0, then you have a copy of your registry backup. If all Hive files have a size of 0 or if there is no any file inside regback folder, then you didn't have a copy of registry backup and you can't repair your computer using this method. Rename registry files in the config folder using this command. This command will rename any registry file starting with S only. Now, execute the following command to copy registry files starting with S, from regback folder to config folder. Reinstall Windows. If all previous methods fail to repair startup problem due to a severe system corruption, you still have a chance to recover your computer by reinstalling Windows. But before doing that, you have to copy your important files from Windows partition to another partition or to external disk or pen drive, because all data on the Windows partition will be lost after formatting. Click on Use a Device option if you see that. Select the USB drive to boot back into Windows pre-installation environment. Press any key to continue. If the previous options didn't show in your PC, power off the PC and watch the video from description to see how to boot into Windows pre-installation environment. Click on Format or Delete options to format the Windows partition. This step will delete all data on the Windows partition permanently, but the data on other partitions will not be lost. If you clicked on Delete option, you have to create the partition again by clicking on New option, then click on Apply icon. Now select the Windows partition and click on Next icon to start installation processes of Windows. Connect the Ethernet source if you have active internet connection, otherwise, click on I don't have internet. You can follow instructions from your installation screen, or watch the video from description to see how to customize your windows while installing, how to divide your disk if not divided and many more info. If you still need help, add your question in a comment and we will try our best to help you. But before adding a question, you have to try all suggested methods, mentioning which one you have tried and which one failed with the error message. Also you should refer to video description and to pinned comment to see if there is any update or modification for any method based on new windows updates or whatever. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.